Holy shit. We won. Hello, freaky friends. It's just me, your friendly neighborhood horror writer, Tia. Today, we vote. This is where I come to vote. How sweet. Holy shit. We won. The entire time that I have been in Alabama, it has been a strongly Republican state run by the Christian right, the evangelicals. And ever since I've lived in Alabama for coming up on 30 years, wow. I, this has been basically a Republican state, Christian right, the evangelical Christians, they've run it and it's made life a little bit difficult for us that don't fit the mold. And for us to have a win, especially in this time. is amazing. I know the only reason we won was because of the Republicans rebelling for whatever reason against Roy Moore. Other than the pedophile allegations, there were so many reasons why Moore shouldn't have won. People make judgments from an emotional place and from a deeply staunch religious place. And that's dangerous. I would like to think this is the beginning of the New South. Kind of stealing that term from Trey Crowder. A New South where people don't have to be afraid to be themselves. Where the bigots don't run everything. Where hate and fear don't run everything. People all over the world, and even in the United States, have this idea of what the South is. Unfortunately, their idea of the South is who's running the state. Many of us Gen X's and the Millennials and the other generations coming up are not like that. Bigotry, sexism, things like that is a baby boomer generation. And finally, that generation is dying off and losing their grip. Their numbers are what defeated us. Now we're finally starting to see the other side of possibility. I don't consider myself a Republican or a Democrat. I consider myself an independent. I judge each person by their own merit and where they stand. My main reason for voting for Jones, well, actually the two main reasons I voted for Jones is because he wasn't Roy Moore, who is fucking dangerous. And the fact that he's a moderate in his beliefs, and I'm a moderate. I believe everyone should have the right to be who they are. I believe in women's rights, of course. I believe in the right to be gay, straight, bi, pan, asexual, whatever the fuck you want to be. It's your life. I believe you should have the right to run down the street in a tutu if you want, if it's harmed to none. 
And yes, there are rural towns and streets and places I would never want to go. And I have been into put into some very fucking scary situations. And I have lost so much because I am different. Something that I still can't talk about. As they scream, believe in God and you will be spared. This isn't about religion voting for Jones. It's about policy and not being a fucking bigot. Voting for more is the last ditch effort from those who are afraid of change and afraid of people not like themselves. I don't believe this is over. Moore is not going to give up power like that so easily. That's all he has. And I don't think his followers, and I mean followers, are going to let it go down easy. I think they're going to have to do something to prove their faith. They're going to get their zealot on and they're going to be dangerous. When they have a win, like Trump, they are emboldened and they think they can get away with more. Like the Carolina thing. But when they lose, they have something to prove. So I think it's going to get scary. And I think that we're going to have to fight hard to keep going in the right direction because it's too easy to fall back and give up when things get hard. Being the alternative lifestyle chick that I am, I know a lot of people are going to watch this. A lot of people are going to watch this. Yeah, right. I know people that would watch this already hate me without knowing me just because I don't live like them. And that's no way to have a country. A country should be made stronger by its differences. So there's communication, debate, growth. But instead, it's used as a tool to divide us, to conquer us, to subdue us. I can't begin to tell you what it's like to live here with the Christian right and the evangelicals in power. I've been homeless and refused food because I wouldn't convert. And I'd been starving for days. I was refused help in the most dire of situations because I wouldn't convert. I have been fired from so many jobs because they found out I wasn't Christian or not even that I wasn't Christian, that I wasn't their type of Christian. One of the reasons I wrote my book, The Lesser Devil. Plug. One of the reasons I wrote my book, it's an allegory of what it's like to live in the South. And it's not going to stop but it'll get better. And what we need is for the freaks like us to unite and do what's best for ourselves and the others around us too weak to fight. I'm not a political person. Honestly, I, I was a person that gave up because the court systems, cops, the people that are supposed to keep us safe have hurt me in the name of Christianhood. But I finally see that there's hope for us yet. Let the New South be born 
and the Old South die. Bigotry has no place in the New South. Freaks unite. And may the night protect you as you protect the night.